JT Pell's the tax quarterback. We're both big sports fans, and you made an off-the-cuff remark earlier, and I didn't quite get it, so I yeah. want to talk to you now. You made a comment that every single professional athlete in the world, not just America, okay, just in America, yeah. should live in Florida and California. Uh, no, not California. Yeah, yeah. California. <laughs> no, it's Florida and Texas, right? Uh, Florida and Texas. You could probably throw Tennessee in there, too, I think. Basically, what? any state without taxes. Ah, yep. in okay. Texas and Florida, if you're if you're well, use baseball player, it's warm. You could practice year round. But yeah, any athlete you want to live Florida, Texas. Other than taxes and, mm -hmm. and whatnot, or I guess what are, what are the tax benefits? Like yes, it's yeah. taxes zero, but like mm -hmm. so it's a two step it's a two step process. That, yeah, because yeah. uh, who uh, who is the uh, Andrew McCutcheon, the Pirates player? Yep. Didn't he show a picture of his check yeah. one time? There's like a billion mm -hmm. different taxes. Like, yeah. So yep. So we'll we'll jump. Sorry, I mean cut you off. No, but, you're good. You're um, good. So the reason, there's two things. You want to live in Texas or Florida, basically any state without an income tax. I just use those two because it's warm. It's, it's, you know, big cities. And then you want to make sure when you sign that free agent contract, you want to make sure you get a portion of your contract as a signing bonus. Now, what do I mean by that? When you, like you said, when, we'll use Andrew McCutcheon. When you play games, right, how many, they play, what, 161 games in the major leagues, 162? What do you mean you don't know? 162. Know, it's, 162. <laughs> it's, it's 162. And whenever, so if you play a three game, if you live in Texas, right, that's your residency, but you're playing games in Pennsylvania, you're playing games in, in, uh, in, Chicago, in Chicago, New in York, LA, LA yep. San you're, Francisco, everywhere. You're paying those various taxes because that's where you're performing the work. There ain't no way getting out of that. But let's say you sign, like Mookie Betts, he signed a, was it, $350 million contract, I think? A lot of money that I wish yep. I had. Now he establishes his home, I believe, in Tennessee, which I'm pretty sure is no taxes. He got a $65 million bonus paid to him. That bonus is taxed as if he lives in Tennessee. Now, if he was in LA living year round, that would be like $7 million in taxes. Just the fact that he established his residency in Tennessee, he just saved $7 million in taxes. See what I'm saying? So it's a two-step. Establish residency, and that means just live there. Live there six months out of the year in a non-tax state, get paid a signing bonus because that signing bonus is paid to you regardless of if you take the field or not. All those other games, or all those other, um, when you're playing during the season, you only get paid if you play there, right? But this bonus, you could quit tomorrow and you have the bonus. All right, let's yeah. say I'm, a, I'm an employee or maybe mm -hmm. an owner, Yep. right? Um, let's do employee first. I work in, um, let's say, Washington, but mm -hmm. I live in Oregon. Mm -hmm. Right, because that's how, how does that work? How can I take advantage of that? Or maybe if I live in Oregon, but my company is actually based in Virginia. Like, does that matter tax wise? Is that similar as the baseball players that you just mentioned? It, it can be, but it's going to be different because a lot of those, like Washington and Oregon, I know here in Illinois, and Illinois, Wisconsin, and Iowa, and I, I think Minnesota, they have what's called a tax treaty, which means like if you live in one and you, you live in one, work in the other. You're only paying taxes where you live, so I would assume Oregon is Oregon and Washington like that. I think uh, it used to be so, when I lived there before. Yeah. It was something like that. I don't know exactly how it worked, but yeah. yeah. But there's basically a tax treaty where you'll you'll get taken. But with that one, with the bonus, that's similar. Actually, I'll, I'll make an easier reference so you don't worry about that. If you work remotely, let's say you used to live in California, right? You're paying these California taxes. You're like, man, I hate this shit. If you go to Texas, even though your company's in California because you're working in Texas, you pay Texas taxes, which is zero. So that would be an easy way. If you're, if you, you don't have to live in New York anymore to, to work for a New York company, you could. So even for the average Joe, yeah. you, oh, yeah. you would still advise, that, not everyone of course, right. every situation yeah. is different, mm -hmm. but even still like as a if remote you, worker, because that's what I was getting at. Yeah. If you have the ability to get out of high tax states, and if, if, you're, if you're lucky enough, and you can work abroad, or work abroad, you can work outside of your company's home state, you should take advantage of it, and, and we we're seeing it. What California and New York are losing people to Florida and Texas for that reason. Tennessee as well. Tennessee. I know. Um, not not here in Des Moines. We're packed. We can't take any more people. No, we're packed. We're we're, we're done. Don't, don't come here. We're packed. Yeah. <laughs> don't actually, drive up those high those home prices. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, stay out of here. But yeah, that's um. But yeah, you could take advantage of it by working remote in another state that doesn't have taxes or low taxes. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. That's why there's so many Angelinos in Vegas. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, I, especially I, I, when the U.S. beats Mexico in the uh, Nations League semifinals. That's right. Tres <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, 
JT, um, obviously I'm not a major leaguer. I yeah. once, as a kid, wanted to be. But I'm, <laughs> You're a major league tax strategist. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I meant baseball. But um, You were scoring some CPAs earlier. If I am a business owner, right, mm-hmm. or I'm working remote, kind of like you said, mm-hmm. how do I learn more from you? Because I don't want to pay taxes. I want to move to a warmer state. I want to move to a better area for my family. Like, how mm-hmm. do I learn more from you yep. to make sure I do it right? You're going to join our email list, which is in the description or in the link in the video. It's going to be somewhere in here where our editors put it. And you're going to sign up for that email list. And then what that does, it gives you three emails a week. They're all really funny, really informative. And then you're going to be like, man, like I really need to work with these guys because like I like, I'm picking up what they're putting down. And then you become a client and that's really how it works. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much, JT Pell's tax quarterback. Appreciate it. You got it.